Hello everyone, Jurassic Man here, and I'm probably going to review some of the last of the Jurassic World toy line from Hasbro. I'm going to say this will be the last of the movie tie-in toy line, as there are still some dinosaurs I'm still after. Who knows? Maybe things will change in the future. I am still after some of the Dino Hybrid line. But until then, I review as much as I can with the Jurassic World line. So in that case, I'm going to review possibly one of the, I guess harder to get, but I got it pretty easy. The Jurassic World Allosaurus. Now if you've seen of two years back, they released the amazing Jurassic Park Dino Shutdown or... No. Showdown. And that introduced a very cool Allosaurus. And before that, Kenner made their own Allosaurus, which I'll do a comparison in later, of their Allosaurus, I guess, with the Meta Compound. And comparing the movie tie-in Allosaurus with this movie tie-in Allosaurus, ignoring the uh, re-release 3D tie-in, I guess you could say, it really dropped in quality for Allosaurus. So as you can see, this guy represents a good accuracy on what people think of the Jurassic World toys, McDonald's toys. And that could be very funny if like Jurassic World 2, uh, McDonald's does the toys and sadly they are like even more cheaper, cheaper looking Jurassic World toys. Like they just literally took the ones Hasbro made and just made them more cheaper. But guess what? They probably don't have screw holes. <laughs> okay, so, like I said about McDonald's, it has a very McDonald's vibe to it. It was yellow. Well, not yellow. It's actually a more orangish yellow. Red, with some black scuffs over it, making the top scales more detailed, which I kind of like. It even has this white underbelly, and that goes all the way around, which means the white is most likely the base coat. And for the limbs, it's most likely this orange coat. And right smack down in the middle is this horrible dino damage piece that looks that does not even look like a dino damage piece. If you look it off a distance and don't even know what it looks like, it probably looks like striping. But if you look on the back side, it does not have that striping, so that is a dino damage piece. And it has their signature uh, screw holes, which there are one, two, three, four. Five and six. Let me see. Five. Oh, just five. Five screw holes. A little bit less, but if I review this guy during the time of his release, it'll probably be impressive. But nowadays, I'm not very impressive with Hasbro's Jurassic World line. I'm just waiting up for next year. But I wanted to review this guy for a long time, and I'm gonna review him. So he comes in a second wave of Basher and Biter line, which is actually what it is, I forgot. And the horns don't even look like Allosaurus. It looks like a very odd Cryolophosaurus. Detail-wise, it does not have much detail. In fact, it's probably ugly detailed, especially on the side of the body, with these weird lumps. His arms are completely long. And mine's might be a bit broken because it keeps tilting on his head, even though it's supposed to be like this. But it's tilting that way. It's not supposed to do that. The legs are very big and feety. That makes it slightly better than most of the bashers in the line. But it's not really that good because they literally had to make the feet big just for it to stand. Look at the original Raptor. It didn't need big feet, it just needed balancing. This guy has no balance. Has a scrawny tail and a big front head. Speaking of the tail, the tail this is an action feature. It's one of those Basher and Biter lines that still had that two wave action feature, like the later one, or I think that was just for Indominus in blue. But turn the head, turn, turn the tail left, makes the head go left, turn it right, it goes right, but it doesn't work because his head is supposed to be like this, but it's not just like that. It's broken. And going up, it roars in a way. Very cheap, 
and like every bastion biter dinosaur that opens their mouth it can open wider pretty stupid and it shouldn't be doing that but then again the original Canoraptor did that and I'm not bringing that guy up because he's obviously shown so many times you guys already seen it but yeah that's it show it on a semi good side I don't want to see those screw holes again he just tilts his head sideways chomps up and down and it's really a kind of a letdown but it's what we got during the time I think this came out in 2015 or came out the next year after I don't remember anyways it was gonna be a one-time thing it never gets repainted and the only other ones you would see or repainted are the little minifigures which I'm starting to believe is the actual sculpt and if you look at those minifigures, they actually look slightly better than the actual toy version of them. And look at the Angie, his tail's down. And look at the T-Rex, it has a jaw. And not just some flimsy piece of flesh hanging off his mouth. So, let's make some comparisons. Compare it with an original Kenner figure. And of course, the scaling on that is very odd. I mean, it doesn't even look like a juvenile, it looks like a baby Allosaurus. Or Junior Allosaurus, and that's not what we want. Let's compare it with Kenner's version of the Allosaurus. The Metacon version of this. And he dwarfs it by size. And this guy is supposed to be, I guess you could say, more scale-wise with Allosaurus in general. I don't know really the scale for Allosaurus, but I'm pretty sure this is close. And of course, finally, let's review it with another Jurassic World toy, and I'm going to review it with my original Jurassic World toy, the first one I ever got, and probably one of the few I actually love. Sadly, however, she will never stand again. She just flops over, like him, and her, and never like these guys. So, if I were you, I would not get this. I may ask you to get this, but if you find one that actually stands, no. Get this. Sure, it may cost at least half a hundred or so if you want all the pieces or you're going to customize it yourself. It is a good toy to get, and it goes good with the human figure. So, don't buy that McDonald's toy, buy this. Yeah, this is kind of a propaganda over Casper, but who cares? Next year is going to be great. Hopefully. Especially with all the good news. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this review. Remember to like and comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.